everyone, it's Nicole again, and we're right in the middle of the Fani Holiday Inspiration Week. So I thought it would be really fun to create a quick and easy project. And I'm going to be using this little snow globe here that I bought from my local Michaels. It's only about $4, and I used a 50% off coupon, so it was really cheap. And what I love about it is it, you know, you could um, just slip a little picture in there, or you could design something here like I'm going to do with stamps and um, create something really cute to have in your office or to give away or to do um, with friends. So um, I'm going to be using the stamp set Deck the Halls. I'm also going to be using Joy to the Woods, a couple of these elements here. And for the critter, I'm going to be using this little snow bunny from Critters in the Arctic. I'm also going to be using a variety of Copic markers and I'll share which ones I'm using as we go along. And I'm also going to need this memento marker, my white jelly pen, some clear wink of Stella, and just a regular pencil. Oh, I'm also going to be using post-its here to do a quick mask. So this is what it looks like here. You could remove the bottom, just twist it off. And then there's this little insert in here, and I'm going to be using that as like a guide of how um, big I need to make the insert. So I just have a little piece of cardstock here. It's 110 pound cardstock. It's really thin. I'm sorry, it's really thick actually. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the insert here, place it on top, and using my pencil, I'm just going to create this little mark here so I know exactly where to cut and then it'll fit. It's going to be the same exact size as this uh, sample insert so it'll go in perfectly. And it's um, double sided so I'm going to be making two of these. And then I'm just going to write back right here just so I know that this is the back. I don't want to have any of the pencil marks showing um, when I put this into the snow globe. And I just cut those out. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the stamping. So I'm going to take this little snow bunny here, stamp that right in the middle. I'm using some um, Tuxedo Black Memento ink. It's a perfect ink for Copic coloring. Okay, I went ahead and stamped that, and now before I clean off my stamp, I'm going to use the remaining ink to stamp this onto a piece of post-it paper, and I'm going to be using that as a mask. I'm just going to peel that off and go ahead and cut that out. Okay, once that's cut out, I went ahead and adhered that to the piece um, here that I'm designing on. And now I'm going to take that little hill side uh, stamp and I'm going to be stamping that right here. Just remove the mask. And if you see here, it didn't quite make it all the way to the edges, so I'm going to be using this Memento black pen and I'm just going to fill in those gaps here. And now just for some charm, I wanted to go ahead and add a couple of these really cute ornaments. So I'm just going to stamp those really quick. Okay, now I think that looks great, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started on my Copic coloring here.
Now I'm going to go ahead and decorate the back of the image here that's going to go into the snow globe. Okay, and now that I'm finished with both sides, I'm going to go ahead and use my tape runner here to adhere both pieces together. Just like that. I think it looks so cute. So you have the front and the back image here. Now I'm just going to take this snow globe here and just slip that image right in. I really love how easy and convenient this is because I've made um, snow globes from home before but using a mason jar and I think it was a little bit more messy for me because I don't really like getting my work surface dirty um, so this was easier for me and I really liked how clean it was now you, the bottom just snaps in really easy like that and that's it you're finished and this is the complete little snow globe here so I think these are so cool And that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope that we're all inspiring you to create some really cool Christmas projects and cards. So thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye!